Hey YouTubers, welcome to the vlog. I'm Ken. Uh, great news today. Look, he's been vanished. He's turned into a cat. Uh, so we bought, um, it's like a, I guess it's a Wi-Fi thing that you plug into the motherboard and it's got two antennas on it and Ben is now in his room using Wi-Fi to do his gaming. And uh, it seems to be working great. We did it. It's funny, this, this router that we bought, it came up with two different things. One was like a regular Wi-Fi, another one was like a 5G or whatever. And so we thought the 5G one would be better for him, and uh, but it was giving him crappy download speeds or upload speeds, whatever. So we tried the other one and it works like amazing. So there's one good piece of news right there. Just in case you're wondering what that is, uh, Sunny is uh, our calico cat, and we always call her Princess. So she's the type of cat, and probably all cats do this. You change anything in your house, and they're in it. So I put two chairs together, put her bed on there, put like a canopy on there like a princess deserves. And of course she slept, actually I had it here last night and then I moved it there and she slept in there again today. So I have to probably keep moving it because she loves it when you move it into different places. So there's another interesting piece of fact that you know now know about Ken. Another awesome thing guys is KBD Productions TV is now verified. I'm not sure, I'm just gonna flip my screen so you can see. So this thing right there means you're verified. That means you are watching a YouTube. And we're back. I just shut the camera off by accident when I flipped the screen. It's a touch screen and I hit the stop button. Uh, so now uh, when people, and it's funny because somebody, maybe a couple people in the last two months, I guess they came checking out my channel when I had like 80,000, 90,000 subscribers and they just wanted to make sure, they wanted to make sure or they were curious as to why I didn't have the check mark and that made them think that possibly this was a scam channel or something but when you're verified that means you are verified with YouTube and uh, like Chuck from the Bronx has it I think LA Beast has it uh, Dame has it I believe so it just, it just makes your uh, channel even better. I'm not sure what's going on with Chrome right now, but it's messing up my banner. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'm on Ken's vlogs. If I switch over to my KBD Productions TV, uh, see, it's, it's normal here, but if I actually go over to any of my other channels, it messes up. I don't know what's going on. Google Chrome, you need to wake up. Really, a couple people have asked who is Megan because they haven't watched all my vlogs. So Megan is my 17-year-old daughter, and she is right now going up to Aurelia to get her driver's license. So she's actually doing the test, and at the end of the test today, she'll either have her license or she'll have to do like a retest or something just in case she does something wrong. Which I don't think so. She she drove us around yesterday, and she was like doing fine. She just needs more confidence and more experience. You need to you need to drive a lot to get the experience to be super comfortable behind the wheel. Comfortable. And Ben is my 14 year old son, just in case you didn't know that either. And he's now in his room with a locked door. I've locked him in. Shh. I also have a very good a YouTube friend that I met through YouTube. Uh, actually, I met him through my gaming channel first, I believe. His name's Chris, and he is a tabletop modeler. And We've been talking back and forth for a very long time and uh, every once in a while he, he'll pop up on my main channel and comment on something. He, he mainly comments on my Facebook stuff, but he just commented yesterday on my vlog for the first time, I think. I think, I know it's not the first time, I think he's commented before. But he asks, you know, how will uh, Maker Studios benefit my channel? Well, they're supposed to and, and I would not recommend joining uh, a network partnership unless you have a lot of subscribers. Because I think if you have like, you know, a thousand subscribers and stuff, they don't, I don't think they'll pay attention to you as much. Whereas, you know, Dame Drops and LA Beast and, and uh, you know, Pete, Furious Pete. They all have lots of subscribers, and of course, Maker is going to make sure that they get all the best ads. Uh, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. Don't quote me on anything, but I just know that 
uh, after talking with Dame and, and just talking about stuff, it's like the best move for me to, to be doing right now. If I get, if my channel, excuse me, that's how good it was. I just had some bread. Oh, it was good. Uh, banana bread. And it was awesome. My wife made it. Uh, so, uh, just checking the time. Um, I forget where I was going with that. Yeah. And we're back. My memory has been now kicked into gear. So Maker is uh, just a great move for me. They will help generate better revenue for the ads that I'm getting against my videos. Uh, they'll may, they might actually put more and only food ads against my videos, which will make people, uh, I just don't want to say the wrong words. It'll, it'll bring more attention to the ads if they put the right ads against my food videos. So that's a good point right there. The next point is the security. If somebody attacks my channel and there's some kid that, I've, I commented on Reckless Eating's video and they said, you know, F you, you shouldn't be commenting here. And so I called them, I said, you know what, first of all, don't be an asshole. And, and I, but I was trying to let him know that I can, I'm a YouTuber just like everybody else. If I like Re Reckless Eating's videos and I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna comment on it, I can comment on it. Who cares if I have 100,000 or a million subscribers? I like their videos and I wanna comment it. People think that I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know what's called uh, spamming or whatever, but I'm not. Uh, I'm supporting another YouTuber and we're in collaborations with each other. So we comment on each other's stuff. Uh, so I call him an asshole <laughs> and uh, he lost it. He like freaked out. How dare you call me that? And people were like attacking him on top of that saying, dude, did you not hear what you said to him? First of all, of course, he's going to call you an asshole because that's what you are. And so he actually came onto my main channel and started flagging all my videos. And so Maker, when I'm teamed up with them, will actually help make sure they'll realize right off the top that this person this person is just angry and is flagging all my videos for no apparent reason. And hopefully they'll just take down that person's channel because you're not, it's call, that's called abuse. You, you, he's a, he, he thinks I was abusing him by calling him an asshole, but he abused the system by flagging all my videos. Uh, nothing actually happened to my channel at all because you have to go through, he probably just said he would flag all my videos because you actually have to go through a major process, give them your phone number, your address, lots of information. And basically they say, you know, if you flag something inappropriately, like you're just doing it because you're angry at somebody, then your channel can be taken down. So don't go around doing that kind of stuff to people. Long story short, Maker will protect me against people like that. Uh, Maker will also hopefully get me um, sponsored gigs. So let's say, you know, Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King, any one of the restaurants that I frequent all the time, they say, you know what, like, well, let's team up with Ken. And they say, we have a new product coming out and they might actually join us together. And through Maker, they have the power and the ability to make that happen so that, you know, Wendy's or McDonald's or whoever might actually say, hey, Ken, we want to pay you X amount of dollars to do uh, one of your videos, but you just we just need you to uh, try this specific product and I have the full right to say I don't want to do that uh, so if a restaurant that I don't like or a food that I don't like comes in and they offer me 10 grand and uh, not that that's happened uh, they offer me a lot of money to do something against what you guys I know you guys know what my tastes are like if all of a sudden a, pick, a, a pickle company comes in says hey Ken we want to pay you $20,000 to say this is I although I hate pickles that could be a good ad although I hate pickles if I was to love pickles these are the pickles I would try and pickle X anyway so there you go so there's a little information about maker hope you guys like that hey guys here's some news for you so I got an email from uh, one of my subscribers and she's just saying that she really likes my my star my, my she likes my videos <laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna edit that, edit that out because that's just too stupid and funny so I want to respond to her so I click on you know go respond to this and because I'm logged in as KBD Productions TV at the moment uh, it went to the inbox for KBD Productions TV and of course her email is not there it's probably on my vlog channel's inbox but as I look through and I see Furious Pete and it's like three days ago he emailed me and said that he's coming up to Barry to do a thing with smoked poutinery and maybe we can shoot a video together wow 
and I and I what right now I'm freaking out because it's been three days since I've since he sent it and I haven't responded to him because I didn't even know I got the email. It actually came up as saying it was uh, shared privately, but still YouTube didn't send me an email saying you got a, a private message from Furious Pete. So now, uh, luckily I have his phone number, so I'm gonna give him a call quickly. And he said in a few weeks, so I, or he said in a couple weeks he's gonna be in Barry and he wants to shoot something with me. Sweet, uh, that's good news, I think. So uh, there's something to look forward to. Uh, but of course I'm going to Costa Rica, Costa Rica next week. So I'm hoping it's not next week that he's driving through here. Hopefully it's the week after and we will shoot a video together. I'm gonna have to like reschedule some of my videos because I'd like to put mine up as soon as possible with various beat. So I just came back from Bradford. I dropped Ben off at work at Wendy's and then I went to uh, do a food review. I figured while I was down there, although I totally forgot I didn't shave, my nails are dirty. <laughs> it was a, wasn't well thought out. Uh, so I went to, uh, what's it called, Subway to do their lobster sandwich and I missed it I guess by a couple days because it's they don't sell it anymore um, so I went to McDonald's and did their um, Asian there's so there's another word in there is Asian something shrimp signature McRap so I just finished doing that so you have to guys you have to wait until Tuesday, I'll put that up Tuesday. Uh, we'll be in Costa Rica then. So, but I'll still be reading my emails and I'll definitely be checking out to see how well the video is doing. Um, I think next Friday, not this Friday, this Friday is my 100,000th, 100,000th video and uh, Ghost Pepper Challenge video. And so that's going to be up this Friday. Uh, I'm not doing a uh, ice cream sundaes it's just, it's just too many things to edit right now so I'm going to probably skip every other week with, with the ice cream sundaes although they're not that crazy hard to put together although the last one was really hard to put together because we had to go to three different places, three different milkshakes and it just took a lot of time anyway so next Friday I'm thinking about doing the Taco Bell stuffed nacho uh, because uh, I've never had one and it's, Taco Bell seems to be a thing that everybody likes watching me eat and I'll definitely like to do a Taco Bell challenge so if you guys want to uh, leave comments in the comment section below as to which Taco Bell challenge would be a good one and I'll do it in August and like I said uh, that might change because I texted Pete and and let him know that you know maybe we don't have to wait two weeks for you to come up uh, to Barry to do a food review uh, I, well, I'm totally willing to drive down to him. He's south of me by about maybe an hour, hour and a little bit maybe. Uh, anyway, so I'll, I'm just waiting for his text back. I'll let you know. I'll keep you apprised of the situation. All right? Hi. Hi. All right, guys. It's time to cut the grass. A few of you wanted to see me cut the grass. Okay, then. Let's just get the lawnmower from the back here. You guys probably haven't seen this far back. So these two sheds are mine. This actually is on Dave's property just a little bit. Look at this crazy lock. Woo! Yeah, I know, we need a new shed. We need a lot of new things in this house. So there's my beautiful lawnmower that you guys so badly wanted to see. I don't know why. But, uh, I'm gonna check the gas. I'll be right back, hang on. Yep, she needs some gas. Super exciting episode for you people today. Watching Ken gas up. Lawnmower. Riveting! Here we go, don't get splashing on the camera, dude. Okay, come on. Oh crap. I'll never ever not spill gas. So I let the uh, 
grass grow about four or five days too long. Just haven't had the time. I probably could have paid Ben. There's a kitty coming to say hello. Oh, little kitty. Little kitty one. Meow. Little kitty two. Oh, you're gonna not like this when I start this sucker up. No siree, Bob. What you doing? This is cool. You don't have to like twist it on eight eight thousand times. It's just like a bayonet type swivel. That's it. Done. What do you think? He's always wanted to be in pictures. So I like to let my, uh, I guess, nozzle pouring spout air dry. Oh, they're gonna try and get in my garage. So I'll just leave that there, shut the garage. And we're gonna start it. You guys can watch me start my lawnmower. Let's see if we can do it in one pull. Let me put on my little kickstand here. It's gonna be loud, people. <clears throat> Those cats are gonna go running. Three pumps, one, two, three. That's how you start a lawnmower, people. Just finished cutting the grass. Looks marvelous. Yeah. Fresh cut grass, smells awesome. Looks like a golf course when you cut it nice like that. I wish I had a better lawnmower, because the lawnmower I have is like, I don't know, two horsepower. The one we used to have is like five, 5.5 horsepower or whatever. And the kitties come back to say hello. The noise is gone, kitties. The noise has gone. I'll make the sound of a lawnmower and they'll take off. Anyway guys, thanks for watching Ken's vlogs. Hope I answered a few of your questions today. Uh, go over to uh, one of uh, Pete's latest videos and say, yeah, we heard that you and Ken are getting together and just uh, make it even stronger than it's gonna be, all right? Talk to you guys later. Have a great evening, bye.